everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Happy Saturday, my friends. Absolutely beautiful out here. Another breezy day and another breezy evening at Del Norwegan's Pass State Park. A couple minutes after 7 o'clock. This is the north end of parking lot two. Pretty quiet. Lots of parking here this evening. Lots of available parking spots. Beautiful, beautiful clear skies. Pretty much all day today had these beautiful crystal clear blue sky. Low tide was about an hour ago. Right now, temperature is about 72. Wish you were here with me. Hit that share button. Let's get some more eyeballs on this live feed. Wind's blowing pretty strong right now. It says 11 miles an hour. It's blowing a lot stronger than that. So I didn't make it out to the beach this morning for a beach walk, but I was backlogged. I had some other videos I needed to get posted and get off of my phone. So I hope you check those out today. You weren't without some beach time today. Shared a beautiful video of our twilight ride back to the dock with Bo Naples from last Thursday. Man, those colors were incredible. If you didn't watch that, check it out. Absolutely beautiful. The pinks and yellows and oranges. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> A lot of, you know, I never had allergies when I was younger. And now as I'm maturing, starting to... Feel the symptoms of allergies. Getting the sneezes and runny nose, scratchy throat kind of stuff more often. Getting old is wonderful. <laughs> Man, it's gorgeous out here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Lots of serotonin in the air. That wind's just hitting me pretty much right in the face. I think it's maybe coming a little bit out of the kind of northwest here. Thanks for tuning in. Take a little strut up the beach. Get away from what few folks are out here. Lots of foam out here. Lots of sea foam. We were seeing that the other day. I don't know how many of you go back as far as I do, but sea foam. <laughs> 
when I was a kid, I don't know, in kindergarten, early grade school, Crayola had those. You know, they had all different size boxes of crayons. And there was only one, you had to get the big giant pack of Crayolas to get the seafoam green color. That was like the grand prize, seafoam green. If you didn't have seafoam green, you weren't cool. I don't know why I thought of that, talking about seafoam. There was all kinds of crazy things when we were kids that you had to have. But I'd never forget seafoam green. Maybe that's where my love for the beach started, was with Crayola seafoam green. So I love seeing families out in the water having a good time. I love seeing kids enjoying nature instead of hanging out on the street corner. <laughs> Boy, look at this. There's a nice little line of foam here. It's not sea foam green. It's sea foam white. So I come out here with our friend, my friend Robert. He's down there somewhere on the beach. It's amazing I don't see him towering up over all the people down there. <laughs> but Gail. My wife Gail made us a little snack to bring out here. She made us some homemade pizza, her own homemade dough. So we had a little something to nibble on when we were coming to the park this evening. If I didn't walk the beach in the mornings, I'd weigh about 500 pounds, thanks to her cooking. Boy, it is breezy. Breezy but gorgeous. Probably gonna be breezy tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a little on the cool side in the morning for this old Florida boy. Not cold, just with the wind. Yeah, when it gets like 60 degrees with the wind blowing, that's like, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say about that. When it gets down below 50, forget it. I can't stand it. But I'll come out here. I love my beach. And then when it gets into the 40s, every once in a while here it'll dip below the 40s. Those days are over now for this season. Thank goodness. Now we're worrying about hurricanes. They're already, the media is already hyping up hurricane season. Telling everybody how busy how active this hurricane season is going to be He's trying to get their Lowe's and Home Depot advertisers ready to go make their big bucks selling hurricane supplies I think we learned a good lesson be prepared just don't be stupid don't panic just be prepared I wish you were out here with me. I wish you were out here with me. Oh, and by the way, if you're a Floridian or you're thinking about moving down here and becoming a Floridian, now is the time that you get all your hurricane supplies in order. You don't wait till the last minute. You have them, get them all now. Get all your canned goods, your propane, whatever it is you need, your batteries, 
your battery chargers, your solar panels. Now everything's solar. I mean, we got we have a generator that runs we can charge it with solar. It's like it's amazing. We got plenty of solar here. Solar power in Florida. Good old Mr. Florida Sun. But get your supplies in order now. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't be one of those people. And then after hurricane season, you got all this food and everything. You have a hurricane party. You drink up all the beer you've stocked up on and all the good food. And you have a party. Another thing my wife is great at. Stocking us up with the hurricane supplies. Very quiet here for such a beautiful evening. Yeah, yeah, it is breezy. And there, I mean, this place was packed all day today. The park was packed. All the parking lots over uh, Blue Bill, over the bridge, the other side of the bridge. Connor Park was full. But it's thinning out. There's usually like a little burst of people that come out here for sunset. Sunset's at around 7.45, so they'll... There'll be more people piling into the park just for sunset. Twilight this evening is going to be spectacular. These clear skies, you get some incredible, very saturated colors once that sun sinks in below the horizon out there in the gulf. The bad thing is they kick us out of the park. We can't stay here for a long time. Once that sun sets, they're anxious to get everybody out of here. Kind of sucks. <laughs> it's not like the good old days where you could stay 20, come in here 24 seven. Of salt spray in the air, bad Bob. Very salty out here this evening. Hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing, my friends. seen my friend Christine from Naples Park and Beach Shuttle since St. Patrick's Day. She's been so darn busy shuttling people back and forth to the beach and restaurants and bars and whatnot up here. I need to touch base with her. I need to get her out here for a beach walk with me. see the screen. All I see is my face reflecting off the screen. I don't know if Papa is on here with us this evening, but Papa, if you're watching, hello, my brother. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I think about you all the time. We were just talking about you this evening, Papa. Last night. Talking about music and Papa. 
Those two words are like synonymous. Peppa and good music. Any kind of music. Even if it's not bad, he don't care. Good music, bad music, any kind of music. Peppa loves his music. Wiggins Pass up there to the north at the north end of the park. At the north end of this beautiful mile long stretch of beach. I'm debating on where I'm going to do my beach walk tomorrow. Usually Sundays I try to come up to Del Nor Wiggins for my beach walk. But when I come out for an evening like this, you know, by the time I get to bed, I go home, eat a late dinner, then I can't sleep because I got a full stomach and I'm up tossing and turning for hours and hours, and I don't want to get out of bed in the morning, but that's what happens when I go out boat Naples. I was actually exhausted, exhausted after that trip with boat Naples. When I go to I mean, I get up normally. I mean, normally I start waking up at about 3 o'clock thanks to our little fur babies. And then I crawl out of bed between 3.30 and 4.15. So if I don't get to bed till after midnight, I'm dragging my butt. Our fur babies, you know, they're getting up there in years. They're old for their breed. 14, 15, 16, they're old. But you know what? All they did is give us their love, their entire lives, is give us our love. So I'll sacrifice a little sleep for them. That's not a problem. They never demanded anything from us except a meal and some water. <laughs> and our love which is easy to give them I'm going to come up here and let you see a little bit of the park up here behind me what it looks like they're still working away working on the underground the sewer lines and everything there's really nothing new to report here. Same old, same old. And all I can say is just please, please, please be patient. Good things come to those who wait. When this park is finally rebuilt and reopened, it's going to be magnificent. I still can't get that conversation that I had with that lady. <laughs> she asked me if the magic was ever going to come back here. And I'm like, the magic never left here. This is not the magic. Where there used to be a bathhouse right here, that's not the magic. The bathhouses weren't the magic. The magic was in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. That's where the magic is, and it's still here. This park is magical always was and always will be. So many awesome memories made here, not just by us and our beach family, but many families, millions of families from all over the world have wonderful memories of this park. That's the magic of Del Nor Wiggins. Don't forget that. Man, look at all this beach. How, how can this not be magical? How can you not think this is magical? 
Hurricane Ian is was nothing. Just an old windbag. Yeah, yeah, he did float us out, but <laughs> we're coming back. Southwest Florida is coming back better, stronger. Del Norwing is better, stronger. Keep the faith, my friends. Keep the faith. And you know what I'm going to tell you to do next? If you come out here to the park, you know what I'm going to tell you to do? Pay your entrance fee. Be honest. Pay your entrance fee. Put your money or scan the QR code. Put your money in the Iron Ranger. Join friends at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. If you really love this place and you want to make a difference, join Friends of Del Norwegian's Path State Park. And then put your money where your mouth is. Closer to sunset here. There we go. I love that reflection. It just, to me, it's just like a little. That is the stairway to heaven right there, my friends. Boom. Right there. I wish you could just stand here with me and feel that wind blowing in your face. Take a deep breath. Soak up all that serotonin. Oh, man. It's just nothing but happy gas. <laughs> it's so awesome. So awesome. God knew what he was doing when he made the beach. <laughs> Man. What an awesome gift, isn't it? The beautiful beach, our planet. What an awesome gift. A free gift. All we got to do is take care of it. Sounds easier than it is. What you doing right now? How are you watching this live feed? On a cell phone, a tablet, your TV? You know, smart TV, how are y'all watching my live feeds? And where are y'all watching them from? Bad Bob, I don't know if I want to know where you're watching my video from. <laughs> ah, I miss Bad Bob. I wish him and Sherry would get their butts down here full time. Can't wait till he gets back down there. Y'all are going to be in for a ride. I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm going to put a microphone on Bad Bob. We're each going to have a microphone. So you might want to keep your kids in the other room. God knows what he's going to say. <laughs> Oh, 
What do you think of all that blue? What do you think? Could it get any bluer? What do you think? It can actually get bluer than that. It can actually get a deeper, darker blue than this. But that's pretty darn beautiful. I love sunset. I love coming out here for sunset. It's like a trade-off. Morning, evening. I wish I could do both every day. But. I need a sidekick. That's what I'm hoping about Bad Bob. I want him to be my sidekick. I can get Bad Bob to open up when he comes down here, when we take a little walk together, really a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. Y'all are going to be amazed at how awesome Bob and his entire family are, all the things they do for their community. Unbelievable. Hearts of gold. It's like Barbara Grove. Sometimes, you know, you don't see eye to eye politically with your friends, but who cares? You know what? It's about just being a good person. Doing good deeds, doing the right thing. Barbara Grove has, man, she has helped so many people over her lives. It's unbelievable. Every time I sit and have an hour of quality time with Barbara Grove, our shell lady, Barbara Grove. I learned something new about her. Something new that she did. She wrote a book on life-saving for children way back when, for the American Red Cross. It's like, wow, never heard that story before. Unreal. That's why I say when Barb, she's gone now for the season, she, she might pop out to the beach. She's leaving Wednesday, but she's not going to be here with her shells. But next season when she's down here, you have to talk to Barbara Grove. And it's not all about shells. It's about life. Man, she's got some awesome stories to tell you. Like I said, you know, all of us here, we might have different views on politics and religion and whatnot, but I think right here, right now, we all share one common love, and it's for what you're looking at right here in front of me, this beautiful beach. This is where this all began, was right here all my life. It started right here at Del Norwegans, right about where I'm standing. This is where I would come out and do my first live feeds a little to the south of me, a little bit behind me in the old skybox. Who remembers the old skybox at the north end of Area 3? I just set the camera up on a tripod and we'll let it go. Every once in a while I'd say a little something or other. Man, it was awesome. Our friend Gary who we nicknamed Sits in Chair, Gary Keeger. He so misses being able to come out here. You know, he's has a hard time walking around. A lot of our friends are like that. Kind of challenged when it comes to mobility and he's, he just really can't come out here and enjoy this right now. There's only one spot where you can kind of get out to the beach. They have a wheelchair mat up at the north end of parking lot too but it's really not like the old boardwalks 
And I feel bad about that. Someday it'll all be restored. Don't worry. That is glorious. Absolutely glorious. How many times can I say glorious? I can say it a million times tonight if I work hard on it. Hit that share button, my friends. It's getting close to that magical time. What an awesome, awesome sunset cruise we had the other night, Thursday evening, with Boat Naples. Man, beautiful sunset. Check them out, BoatNaples.com. Give them a call. Tell them you want to get on that Thursday evening Southwest Florida television sunset cruise. Apparently, a couple of people really like that slunch Irish whiskey on Thursday night. I'm not going to point any fingers, but somebody enjoyed themselves. It wasn't me. <laughs> Well, I enjoyed myself, but it wasn't the slancha. So, hey, thank you for the stars. I see some stars are coming in here. I do appreciate that. I really could use some tips. Really overextended myself last month and I am like deep, buried myself deep in a hole here. And part of it is with this new iPhone. But without that, we wouldn't be here together. So think about that. Right now, your financial support, hugely, hugely, hugely appreciated with tips. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And I do thank you. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. If you win the lottery, I'm easy to find. Rob Stan, R-O-B-B-S-T-A-N. You can find me very easily. I'll gladly help you take some of those lottery winnings off your hands. Just saying. <laughs> I love Naples and I love my beach and I want to stay here. It's just getting really expensive. Man, look at this. Getting that beautiful golden glow on the horizon there. skies. Beautiful clear skies all afternoon today, late morning, afternoon, all the way up until now. Hang tight.
Going to take a photo. Hang tight. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Someday there'll be a way I can take a photo without interrupting the live. Mm -hmm. But for now, oh, look at the little sanderlings. Can you see them running across? Did you see them all running across down there? Right up here by the water's edge. The little sandpipers scurrying by. <laughs> little rascals going from right to left. Bunch of them, wow. Little tiny things. Pretty much of them are gone. They are all scurried down there to the south. Heading south. Nothing but blue sky. Smiling above me. Nice walk. What do you think? You enjoying it? Hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing. Shoot some hearts across there. Let everybody know what you think. Thank goodness they don't have a thumbs down emoji. <laughs> there you go. Amen to the hearts. I love it. I love seeing those hearts. Remember when we would do that to Roy? I'd give him, let him hold the phone and say, okay, everybody start throwing hearts at Roy and that screen would just flood over with hearts. Man, he used to get the biggest kick out of that. He knew what was going on. He played innocent like he didn't know what was going on. He knew exactly what we were doing. <laughs> I'm almost up in Area Roy, as a matter of fact. I've almost wandered up to Area Roy. Just a little ways up to the north of me. Wow. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Looks like there might be a little band of clouds out there on the horizon. We're going to find out in just a minute. Once that sun gets just a little lower, I'm going to zoom in. Getting close, my friends, getting close. The big moment is just about here. Janie and Steve, missed you this season. I hope you make it down soon. Miss seeing you guys. Just thinking about you big time when the Christmas parade was happening here. And I do look at my dolphin paperweight, Steve. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was so cool. Alrighty, the show is about to begin. Pre-game is over. The game's about ready to start.
Sorry about that. There's so much wind out here. It's going to be hard to hold this camera steady. I'm going to try to zoom in. It is very, very windy. Hang tight here. Give me a second. There we go. Just about halfway down. We've seen this before, haven't we? It goes down pretty fast. No green flash. No flash tonight. No flash. Pretty, isn't it? Is that not beautiful? Makes you say, wow. Mm. Pardon me. That pizza is making me burp. <laughs> microphone. I don't know what's going on with it half the time. It's in, it's out. Just when you think it's working. Is it back on there, Bad Bob? Facebook and live feeds and external microphones, they don't play together very well all the time. I do what I can, when I can, with what I have. Man, look at that glow. 
kind of fades off up to the north. Try to take another picture. Let me know if the audio poops out. It's nice having Bad Bob on there to monitor the audio for me. Look at that. Wow. I just unplug and replug the mic real quick. Every time I see these colors, every time I see this beautiful, these beautiful shades of orange, it makes me want an orange cream sickle. <laughs> every single time. I love those things. That was one of my favorites as a kid and still is as an old big kid. I think it's been an awesome evening. I don't know about you, but I had a blast out here. Thank you for those stars. I do appreciate that. If anybody happened to send a tip, I really, really, really do appreciate that. I can't stress how much those would help out right now. out with me. Thank you so much for being a friend. Something I'd really wish you'd consider is think about becoming a subscriber to my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page. It's four nine. That would help relieve a lot of stress and ensure that these beach walks can continue. What an idiot. Somebody riding a bike on the beach. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Signs everywhere, no bicycles. And yet, somebody just rode behind me on a bicycle. Where are you at? Coming to subscribe.
okay, but I was just getting worried out here. Get into the purples. Uh, you go from reds, you go from yellows to orange to red. tip thank you glorious until next time stay safe stay healthy and stay strong tally ho my friends tally ho for southwest florida television i'm rob stan may god bless you your family your friends your fur babies and everything